Hey again, everyone, Nick here, Used Bikes Direct, checking out this 05 Honda Goldwing. Hop on the website, usedbikesdirect.com, to see those detailed photos and specs. Give us a call with any questions at 866-576-2453. So like I said, this is a 2005 model Honda Goldwing. It's going to feature Honda's 1832cc six-cylinder engine in it, and that is paired up to a five-speed transmission. This one we're checking out today is 34,002 miles on it. And all in all, she is in beautiful condition. As you see, this is a 30th anniversary edition. There are going to be some spots to point out along the way, most notably on the corners. So right back here at the top trunk, and as well as on the bottom, you're going to have those chips. And then as we go throughout the bike, you're going to see a few more scuffs along the way and a couple of more spots, a little bit of weathering in the engine, of course. And as we come up through the plastics here, you're also going to see more of those light little chips. Now, another thing worth noting, our technicians did find a couple of things going on with the bike, the hazard button sticks and a few other services that are needed. So be sure to hop on the web to see that technician's report. As we come up through here, of course, you saw the chips on the side, a couple of scuffs that are going to be on that side mirror itself. And then as we wrap around to the left hand side of the bike, it's pretty much going to be a mirror image of what you just saw on the right. So starting over here on that left side mirror, you do have a scuff. And then once again, right along these corners where you guys see some of those scratches. And then naturally the same weathering that you saw on the other side of the bike. Coming to the back on the top of that saddlebag where that cable rubs, of course, you're going to have a couple of scuffs. And almost identically, just like on the other side, you do have these chips right in the corners. Anyway, as we go to climb up top, we'll take a look at the controls and display, and then we'll fire it up and give her a listen. Obviously, if you're riding two up, that's definitely a very comfortable seat. Now, right in here, you're going to see a couple more of those light little scuffs. But anyway, climbing up top, starting with the left-hand side, you're going to have those CB controls up top if you still use that. Headlight, turn signal, and horn on the left with the audio controls on the right. And sweeping over to the right side handlebar, kill switch all the way up top. Of course, you're also going to have your starter button on the bottom, but you're also going to have reverse and cruise control. Here in the center are going to be audio controls and down low on the left hand side, your headlight preload adjust for emergency flashers and fog light buttons. Now keep in mind, some of those buttons are non-operational. Flipping on the key, display is going to come to life. Of course, you do have a little bit of keychain wear to be expected. Analog gauges on the top, they're going to be for your tax, speedometer, engine temperature and fuel with this digital screen for your radio and odometer, 34,002. Anyway, let's go ahead and fire it up and listen how she sounds. So there she is, guys. Be sure to find us on the web to see more at usebikesdirect.com, or you can give us a call with any questions whatsoever at 866-576-2453.